Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Gardening. And in this episode, looking at the drought situation in the city, I will tell you on how to use the RO water and will also give you a list of plants that don't mind RO water and others that do. So we all know the situation is dire because of the scanty rain last year and the over-exploitation of groundwater systems. The shortage also has been exacerbated by the overuse of RO systems in the city that waste more water than they give. So the RO system comprises of an inlet from where water enters and moves through the membrane and filters under great pressure. And it also has the outlet pipe from where the concentrate, which has all the minerals and contaminants that were filtered out in the process, is drained out, usually. Now, this drought has forced us to reuse this water for non-portable needs, including watering plants. But remember that this concentrate is rich in calcium, magnesium and other minerals that can burn tender plants. Now, this water can be used to wash vessels, your vehicle, and can be used in the flushing system, mop floors, etc. But while using it on plants, you'll have to be a little careful. Now, I'll give you a list of plants that don't mind this water and do well nonetheless. A ballpark for this are plants that have fleshy leaves. Now, plants that generally don't prefer such water are mostly plants with thinner leaves. The leaves burn and you can see the tips turning brown and they become crispy. Pods that accumulate minerals on their rim can also burn the leaves that come in contact with such mineral deposits. So here is a list of plants that don't tolerate the RO concentrate. Also, this is my observation that as you keep feeding them with this water, they get used to it and somehow manage to do well after some time. This is just an observation and I'm not equating this to evidence-based fact. But now we don't have much option till the rains come and this situation eases. So continue using RO water for watering your plants as well. Or boil this water and collect the water vapor if you can and water your tender plants. Unless you buy a distiller, this can be a very tedious task. But if you are someone who can go that extra mile for your plants, go for it. Additionally, you can use lentil soaked water, water you use to wash veggies and rice, anything that does not have chemicals or salt, you can use them. Also, some of them let the concentrate stay in a bucket for a few days undisturbed and collect the upper layers of the water to water their plants and you can try that too. So folks, dire situations call for novel ideas and practices and climate change is a reality and it is only going to get worse in the years to come. Thanks to you, I and everyone in between. So the only thing we can do is to be prepared. And with this, we've come to the end of this episode of Urbanscape Gardening. And I really hope you enjoyed the short but important video. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. And always remember, to grow slow is to grow well. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.